right, good morning traders. This is your free video from SeasonalSwingTrader.com. Hope everyone is having a great week. Today is Tuesday, February 28th, last trading day of the month. And so it uh, could be an interesting market today. Uh, we are a little frothy, extended to the upside. However, most of our seasonals, uh, both the broader market indices and the individual stocks uh, that make up the indices are still pointing higher. We've got several markets still pointing higher, looking to the upside. So what we will try to do is take the ones that have been a little less valued, a little bit more beaten down, and see if we can capture those and take a ride on the seasonal uptrend. So this morning we're taking a look at BBBY, Bed Bath & Beyond, BBBY trading on the NASDAQ. And you can see from the chart here that we start a period of seasonal strength right around the March 2nd. You can see here March 2nd to around April 12th. We've got historically a 10 uh, out of 10 years historically positive for an average gain of 10.3% with no drawdown and a cumulative gain over those 10 years of 45.5%. So that's pretty strong here. You will, you will want to note, however, we've got earnings right in the middle uh, or actually towards the end of the seasonal trend around the April 5th mark and you see the seasonal trade calls for an exit around April 12th. So we should be able to skin enough meat off this before earnings. As always, we'll want to probably exit before earnings, so just keep that in mind. If we take a look over at the chart, you can see that uh, we've been down massively since the December 2016 highs back here from the 48 level. We've come all the way down to the 39, 38 level, so we'll call it $10 or so didn't quite come and take out these lows that were made in December. So these lows did did hold. We've kind of got a rounding bottom action. We got a pretty nice bid in yesterday's action. So I think that I like this trade going higher and coming up to, at a minimum, test the $44 level. If you look over here at the weekly chart, you can see we've got similar action. We're rounding up uh, the momentum indicators also pointing higher and which would be a test to this 44 to 45 area. Uh, so if we go to the option chain, we can take a look at a couple different plays here. Uh, I'm looking out here at the April 52 strikes, and on the put side, I'm looking at a couple put spreads, perhaps either the 42 half 40 put spread for about a buck 10 or so. Now this is all pre-market, so we'll need to see where we open up. Uh, but about a buck ten or hundred ten dollars a contract on the forty-two half forty puts, or if you want to go out a little bit further out of the money for less premium, a little bit higher risk, is the forty thirty-seven half. So we can sell the forty thirty-seven halves and get about sixty cents a contract. And where does that put us on the charts here? The forties will take us right about here underneath some of this support. I think if we took out uh, these lows, we might want to bail the trade. And if we start taking out these lows, we definitely want to bail the trade. Or if you don't want to worry about the price action and just base your risk off premium, just do uh, a stop out of two or three times the premium received. That's always kind of a, a good general rule of thumb. Looking at the call buying side, if we want to buy some call options, these options are fairly liquid here. Uh, I would look at buying uh, the 40 calls here uh, to just take the mid price. So we would look at maybe around 290 or so. So look at buying around 290 with a uh, double premium uh, profit objective. So uh, if we pay, say, $3 or so, we'd be looking at about $6 to um, exit the trade. So those are a couple of ideas uh, for you in Bed Bath & Beyond, and we hope you enjoy the video. Please be sure to like us on YouTube, share us on Facebook. If you have any questions, send us an email to support at seasonalswingtrader.com. Have a great day.